Well, he'd gone to East New York, Brooklyn to buy a car and ended up shot and gravely wounded this morning. An NYPD officer remains in critical condition after an apparent uh, robbery attempt. CBS News' Zinnia Maldonado is following the story. She joins us live from Brownsville this morning with the very latest. Zinnia. That officer was rushed here to Brookdale Hospital after he was shot in the head Saturday, only three miles away. His name has not been released, but sources tell us he is a 26-year-old father of two and a five-year veteran of the force, many this morning praying for his recovery. A five-year veteran of the force spent another night here at Brookdale Hospital fighting for his life after he was shot in the head Saturday around 7 p.m. along Ruby Street in East New York. Everyone in the, around the world, you need to keep this officer in your prayers. He goes out there every day making sure you guys are safe. Amen. So make sure that you guys do the same. Members of the NYPD Muslim Officer Society and the Pakistani American Law Enforcement Society spent last night visiting the bedside of their NYPD brother. Sources say he is 26 years old, married with two children, and works out of the 66th precinct in Brooklyn. Definitely we are going through a really hard, hard time. Family is going through hardship. And Gathering here tonight is mean a lot to family and us. Police say the officer who lives in Deer Park on Long Island went with his brother-in-law Saturday to buy a car he arranged to pick up through Facebook Marketplace. Police sources say he was off duty in plain clothes when the suspect shot him in the head during an attempted robbery. That's when a shot spotter alert went off, bringing officers to the scene, and the victim was rushed to the hospital. The officer arrived at the location accompanied by a relative. Almost immediately, the suspect displayed a gun and announced a robbery. There was an exchange of gunfire where the off-duty officer was struck. Far too often I stood at hospitals with Patty Lynch on one side, the police commission on another, leaving the rooms with family members on mornings, hearing that same sound, tell, tell me it's not true. Please tell me it's not true. It hurts a lot. And it doesn't dissipate over time. It's unclear if the suspect was aware the victim was an officer. So far, no arrests have been made. You should turn yourself in. And you should turn yourself in so that you can have peace in your spirit. There's no doubt that we will bring this culprit to the justice. Yes, yes, and he yes. will be prosecuted to the fullest extent. Once again, police say no arrests have been made. If you have any information possibly related to the shooting, you're asked to contact NYPD Crime Stoppers. Live this morning from Brownsville, Brooklyn, Zania Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zania, thank you.